What's up everybody, my name is JT and today I'll be talking to you about the uh, most important parts of the synthesizer for Coursera's Introduction to Music Production course. This is the iPoly6 app from Korg on my iPad. It's a $30 app, although I think it's on sale right now uh, and is frequently on sale. So the first part of the synthesizer is the most important and that's the oscillator, often listed like here as VCO. It's actually this section up top here. Um, and I'm going to choose a sawtooth waveform here. Now the sawtooth waveform is pretty robust. It has all the partials unlike, say, the triangle wa waveform, which I also have an option to select here. I can also se uh, select, it says PW here, and that stands for pulse width. Uh, when I have that set down at zero, that's a square wave, and then as I um, increase this PW knob, I'm increasing the length of the pulse, so the uh, waveform is actually changing with that PW knob. Uh, and then with PWM, that's another waveform I, I can select, and that I can, uh, as you can hear, modify the waveform on the go. Uh, and finally I can, this last knob is a noise generator. It's hard to hear, but it's uh, basically just generating straight up noise. Um, so I can't make a sine wave, say, uh, but that's okay because that's not a very robust waveform. Anyway, um, I can also change the frequency uh, of the oscillator by messing with the octaves here. So now that I've gone up an, uh, an octave, it's uh, twice as, the frequency is twice as high as it was before. Four times as high as it was before. I can go down. Uh, so that's the VCO. The next section is the VCF. That's the uh, voltage controlled filter. Uh, by default, it's a low pass filter like on most synths. If I bring the cutoff down, oh, my resonance is high. I'm cutting out the highest end of the partials. Uh, and But I can switch this to a high pass filter. So now, if I have the cutoff at zero, everything's coming through. But as I increase this knob, I'm going to cut out the low end uh, of the spectrum, and you'll hear just the high partials. Oops. Now, remember resonance, uh, it, it increases, it basically makes the filter really obvious by increasing the spectrum right around where the cutoff for the filter is. So I'll turn that way up and you should be able to hear the filter pretty clearly as I uh, move the cutoff. Okay, um, the next part is the EG, that's the envelope generator. So we've got attack, de decay, sustain, and release. Attack is how fast the note turns on. So if I have it at zero, it's instantaneous. But if I increase the attack, it takes a while to warm up. Decay is how long it takes to get to the sustain level, so the sustain level is pretty quiet. I'll increase the decay so you can tell. Quiets down a little bit before it gets to the sustain level. Sustain level is a volume level. And then the release is how long uh, it stops. When I release the key, how long it takes for the, the sound to cut completely. So if that's at zero, it's just going to straight up stop. If it's higher, it's going to fade away. Uh, and those are really the most important pieces of the synthesizer. So I hope that uh, helped you, and let me know if you have any other questions. Thank you.